Terraria's base game only has four unique classes, but I want even more. So I installed five random Terraria classes to see which one is the best. Let's check them out. Off rip. I see something like this, chance class mod. I'm not even gonna read what it does, I'm gonna download it. And it says, can't download, interesting. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. Gambler class, oh yeah, definitely need that one. Seems like we kinda have a theme to the classes we're choosing. Gambling, chance class, dealer class, just straight up like a casino themed set of classes. Charger class, shoot, might as well grab this one. And the last one I'll grab is the fist class. All right, so we're in game and looking, just quickly looking through all these, they actually kind of look all nice. <laughs> Very surprising, we got some decent quality class mods here. Let's start with the one that has the least amount of items, because I feel like that just makes sense, and that is the fist class, which this easily has to be the most basic class. I I'm literally just punching things. It's gotta be basic, right? I have grabbed all the fists here and organized them from weakest to strongest. And let's just quickly go through them. So there's no like special animation or anything, sadly. Like a previous fist class I've played in the past. That was low-key a tongue twister. We got boxing glove, we got iron fist, we got winged fist, which this one's pretty fast. It looked like he's jerking his shit. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, these things give you defense when you hold them, so it's very interesting. I guess since there's no armor in this mod, that's how they gotta get defenses like that. We got stained iron fist, okay? We got fist holding a grenade. I like this one, a little explosion one. It doesn't really seem like it has AOE damage. Let me put the mummies or the dummies a little bit closer. Yeah, it doesn't have AOE damage, what the heck? So really, the explosion is just for looks, which is a little upsetting. We got the shock fist, and I like how it's doing the little shocker symbol. This one also doesn't have any crazy effects or anything, but it's a little bit different, at least. There's no, like, electric attack. I'm not leaving, like, lightning or anything on him. We got crystallized aqua fist, which this one is gigantic. Look at I can hit multiple, no problem. We got Molten Fist. This one I expect to light people on fire. Yes, sir. We got Pirate Hook. Just straight up a hook. Can I reach multiple enemies? I can. We got the Holy Fist. Oh my God, this one's fast as hell. We got the Fanged Fist. This one leaves a little venom or poison. I don't know which one. We got the Shell Fist. So this one applies confusion. So give me like a decently tough enemy. Nailhead. Come here. Look at that, he's confused. He's still going the same direction. We got the Melted Fist. This applies a frost effect. Okay. I like that it had a little screen share. Hold up, this one got a little combo. It's got like a, a straight, and then it's got like an uppercut, and then it's got like a downwards hit. So like jab, uppercut, downwards hit with the screen shake. It's kind of crazy how we're deep into the weaponry and they're now starting to get really creative. I feel like you could definitely have a little bit more creativity for some of these earlier weapons. We got handgun. It's literally a weapon, like a gun. It's a regular gun, no longer fists. It's really weird how you see how the hand is all the way like behind me with that. <laughs> we got the painted fist, which this one applies a random effect. Okay, so this one has the same attack pattern as the other fist. Martian fist. This one has a little electric punch, okay. We got Grace's fist. I don't know who Grace is, but he got a lot of fists. He knows a thing or two about fisting. And then our last two weapons here, Dragon Fist. Damn, this one's shaking everything. And then we got the Oddity, which this one says work in progress, so. I don't know what the heck this one is. Pretty decent weapon though. That was the fist class, which I believe was gonna be the weaker out of all the mods. And I might've guessed right. But now let's get into the other stuff. So we're doing the dealer class next here and we're gonna breeze through the early ones. This one, I believe we just throw cards. As you can see, very simple. The earlier ones are gonna be very simple. We got different speeds, different velocities for some of the earlier ones. That's like platinum or wood all the way through to platinum ore. And then we get to the enchanted one. So it does got a different card that it's thrown. And this one pierces is what it looks like, which I don't think the first one did, okay. That's good to know. And then we get to our corruption and crimson. Poker purge cannibal cards. I like the names. I'm not seeing any cool effects or anything yet. And then we got this domino. What is domino? Is this like a king slime card? This one just seems like it's pretty fast. I'll bring out like a strong enemy just to see if there's any special effects on any of these cards. I don't think there is. We get to the B holder. Let me guess. This one's going to spawn bees, is it? No, no bees. This is probably the coolest looking one so far. We got the space deck. Okay. 
This one is literally like a projectile laser. Leaf launcher. This one's got some speed to it and it's got a little venom or poison with it. So our first one with like an actual effect. And then we got the devil's gambit. This one lights things on fire as per usual. So, so far the uh, pre-hard mode ones, they're not really that unique or exciting. A little bit upsetting because it seems like a cool idea. The sprites are really good. But now let's get into more of the unique ones here. Let's start with this one that stands out, the Uno one. Now with customizable wild cards. Ooh, look at that. So every card is actually different when you throw them. It's completely random, which is pretty cool. And it seems like they might have different effects. As you see, some of them, I believe the wild card, that one pierces all three of the dummies. Again, I'm not seeing like any special effects or anything. It'd be cool if they could make it so like each card had a different effect. Like the red Uno cards, light things on fire, yellow one, electricity, blue one, freezes things, you know? But at least the wild card does pierce multiple enemies. So there's a little bit of something unique in there we got this one the suits the sprites are very sick for these and this is i'm assuming you know the knight's edge or whatever the hell the name of that sword is of the dealer class but where's the cool stuff man so i'm assuming i'm not gonna grab any of the hard mode or stuff even though i'm grabbing them right now it just seems like they do the same old same old so let's start grabbing like the most unique of the bunch i see a pie let's grab that why not we got chlorophyte we got augmentation and then we got arthur's cards and arthur's real cards let's start with a pie okay so the pie throws cards it's interesting and then we got the true suits okay this does the little curse flames not bad we get to the chlorophyte cards this one seems to pierce more than three enemies and then we got augmentation this one i'm expecting lightning no lightning i'm assuming that's not doing poison the poison is still from the chlorophyte cards is it yeah but they do pierce more than three and then we got arthur's cards and then we got arthur's real cards so the idea is there with this class, but it's just, it's just not, damn, there's a big deck of cards with that. They're, they're just not unique enough. It's just like the fist class we saw before. It's just not unique enough. Whether this is a work in progress mod or not, I think we should just start by making everything unique. Let's check out this charger class next. I'm very interested in it. What could they mean by charging? I don't know. They got some very basic weaponry here, like slingshots. Boom, we got a slingshot, we got rocks. Ah, look at the little bar charging up at the bottom. I see what they mean. Did I just do 48 damage with a slingshot? It's pretty good. <laughs> right away though, we can see charge effect plus 5% crit chance. So what is this class about? See, I was thinking charging more on the electrical area and there's a lot of weapons, so it might exactly be that. But let's try out some of these other slingshots like this multi slingshot. <laughs> which shoots like 10 rocks at once. Pretty sick. We got some variety, some subclasses. And then we got some crazy stuff. Like, I don't even know where to start here. Super Slimer. I don't know what this uses for ammo. I really just don't know where to start with this mod. Where, where do I start? Okay, I found the ammo for the Super Slimer. Bottled Slime. Let's see this baby in action. Okay, just shoot straight up missing sprites. <laughs> hey, but the damage, not bad. A little, little just like Gatling gun type of spray. Lunar tip. Are these like darts or something? So there's like darts we can shoot too. At this rate, I feel like I should just grab all the ammo I see in here. We just start grabbing random guns. Adamantite blowgun. Can't even use it. Apparently, I don't have any darts. Okay, here we go. Damn, there's a big ass blowpipe. That's gonna hurt like hell if you get hit by that. That did 800 damage, by the way. <laughs> noticing the sprites are pretty solid which is always a good thing when they get the sprites right we got a little nail gun i don't know what i'm shooting with the nail gun nectar nails but this seems like a very interesting class a lot of variety which you love to see for any terraria classes more subclasses and stuff obviously there's some things that need to be fixed and it probably needs to be a little bit more simplistic for dumbasses like me maybe just more organized because like i really still don't know what i'm looking at here in terms of items laser dartling gun Ooh. This is sick. So it seems like, yes, this class is exactly what it says, charging. You charge up your weapon and then you shoot it. It seems like we have figured that out in terms of how this class works. Yo, that's sick. Now, can I shoot early? I can shoot early. And when I do shoot early, obviously it lasts a lot shorter than if I charge it up completely. But there is some pretty solid weapons here. 
cool laser weapons like this is pretty good stuff and then as you can see we got some items permanently increased maximum charge increases charge speed so it is legit like a full class it's even got a bunch of accessories here too uh, i'm not seeing any armor unless i missed it no nah, i'm not seeing any armor so in the future i'm assuming they're adding armor because obviously wait here we go there's armor right here it just doesn't have a sprite can i put it on oh yeah <laughs> Okay, so there's armor. It's just not sprited yet. So it's nice to see. This is a cool class. It's got some potential for sure. Next up, we have the chance class here. Now, this looks like straight up degenerate gambling type stuff. I'm relying on dice for damage is what it looks like. So let's just take out a random dice and let's just see what happens if I left click with it. Oh, <laughs> just straight up just throwing dice at enemies. What is the niche of this mod on a successful roll inflict double damage so it's a different damage every time is what it looks like it's uh interesting i feel like i need to see a little bit more to understand it there is a good bit of weaponry here and as you can see most of them do have a couple unique things like the wooden ones on a successful roll inflict severe knockback okay so we can launch some things back early game we got this one which releases a damaging sandball on a successful roll now here's the thing do i have to like actually roll something specifically like do i need a miss or is it legit just you know kind of like crit chance where every now and then a sandball will spit out i've only seen one sandball so far and i don't know if it was for me rolling like this or what okay yeah it seems like rolling like this is the way so this is kind of interesting then you want to kind of miss is kind of what this class is telling me <laughs> i don't want to actually land my projectiles <laughs> kind of weird i don't know bro this mod does seem to have some dope ass armor sets like i like how you're legit like a dice cube <laughs> and then you got this one which is like a shark armor set card shark okay you got the high roller set you got the dealer set we got a set made out of paper and then here we got like you know the molten helmet and the hollowed hat pretty sick but yeah there's three types of weapons i, I was just reading about it uh, apparently dice are for like crowd control so this is for fighting multiple mobs obviously which i still don't really understand how the dice damage works like is that legit what i'm doing is just like throwing it at the floor or am i throwing it at the enemies i have no idea whoa Look how much damage is doing to that back mannequin in that thing for like 4,000 sometimes. And then you got these cards, deck of cards, which is like single target damage pretty much, which that's kind of very similar to that other card class. And then we got these uh, capsules, which these are like flip of the coin could be good could be bad as you see on a successful roll inflict double damage on an unsuccessful roll inflict half damage so look at that we can sometimes do 60 to 120 or we can do one damage so it is very interesting to see that and then all the subclasses but on top of all that of course there's accessories and things but there's also bosses in this mod which is kind of unique for a class mod i, I kind of want to see these bosses let's go and make sure we're in master mode i want to see some full potential in these bosses here we got this one mimic dice oh yeah what does he do he ain't mimicking much oh there you go he's starting to move is this king slime ai <laughs> king slime ai minus the teleporting okay it's a little bit of boof is the way i would explain it it is a dice though and i don't really expect much movement from dice after that there's sandpaper shark and this is literally just one of those sharks that spawn during uh sand storms okay the bosses are a little bit upsetting i'm not gonna lie to you very generic not really much behind them and i was kind of excited to see this the haunted slots here we go okay it's a little bit different shooting out poker chips and stuff see this is what the type of quality i was expecting was a little bit of something i like the idea of this i kind of wish it was bigger okay oh, look it's shooting out little ghosts all the people dead from gambling all their money away uh cool idea obviously could be worked on i still like the idea of a giant haunted slot machine though i'm not gonna lie and then there's a pillar <laughs> there's a gambling pillar so that that class has got some unique stuff to it definitely got some potential but let us move on to the final class here and that is this card master class aka the gambler class another gambling themed class but this one as we can see he's got some cards Looks like we about to play pokemon we about to play Yu Gi Oh. something all right this mod's a little interesting to use as you can see we get a little card deck up here and i went into the config and i tried to change like where it is but the game kind of ignored what i chose <laughs> so this is what we got to do here i'm gonna make the ui big again so we can actually see the cards we're gonna grab some random cards let's grab this one let's grab this one 
let's grab i don't know uh this one let's just grab all the the cool ones and we're gonna equip them into our card slot make our ui smaller again boom equip them to our card slot then i'm gonna press this button boom look at that it gives me a random set of cards in my hand and i use them and it's random every time and as you can see they disappear after a while so you want to go through and use them quickly which is an interesting and unique idea to say the least kind of a little bit annoying i'm not gonna lie but it's interesting it's definitely an idea to expand upon and make cooler especially given that there's a large variety of cards it seems like look at this there is a good bit of cards there's even a duke fish run one you even got cards that instantly kill you when you use it and I believe some of these cards are like buff cards. So there's ones that just don't do straight up damage. So it is kind of cool. It is kind of like playing Pokemon and or Yu-Gi-Oh where you play the little other cards down and you get little buffs and shit from them. So pretty cool. I, I kind of mess with it. I got to get into it and read a little bit more into it in the future. Potentially a playthrough with this mod. Something. Because there's obviously untapped potential I'm looking at right here. Uh, it does have armor sets. Not too many. Not too many like newly inspired ones. Some of them just put helmets on armor. Uh, it does obviously have some accessories. But it's pretty cool. This might be my favorite out of all of them. If I were to rank them, I think we go gambler class, which is this one. And then we go charger class. And then we go chance class which is the dice and then we do dealer class which is these cards and then we do the fist one it's kind of funny how there's three pretty much card classes that we installed <laughs> but yeah shout out to the mod developers that made the mod if y'all want to see me maybe play as one of these classes and do a little playthrough on stream and then we highlight it to the channel i could i could possibly do something even though these are not the most like developed classes compared to some other classes out there that are fully complete and stuff but maybe we could play up to like wall of flesh like i've done before for like other classes that aren't fully complete but yeah thanks for watching the video make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on the bell all that good stuff and i'll see y'all next time